Built for an heiress in 1941, a brown brick house on Lions U Pike has sat empty for years. She left the property in the hands of the University of Tennessee. Ideas for what to do with that abandoned place have come and gone over the years. A house for UT's president, a retreat center. Well, nothing really stuck until now. Here's Leslie Ackerson. For years, people have passed by these high brick walls wondering about the massive property stretching out behind them. It kind of looked like a haunted house, and you could tell it hadn't been um, lived in in a number of years. Known as the Eugenia Williams House, it's been met with mystery and fascination, with its fate dangling uncertain for decades. Until two years ago, when charitable nonprofit the Aslan Foundation took on the task for $4 million. One of the things that we like to do is step in when we think there's a project that maybe no one else will take on. It was exciting and it was intimidating. Once dark, dreary and boarded up, the mansion is now full of light and a bright future. And to adapt these buildings to new uses is something that is, I think, uh, respectful of the original architect and the significance of the building as a piece of architecture. Architect Brandon Pace is part of the team working to ensure the home's preservation. The fireplaces are specifically really interesting. The uh, style of architecture, though, is pretty simple and austere. Inside, pink marbled bathrooms and dazzling light fixtures show no expense was spared when it was originally built. When you look at it, there's all sorts of just beautiful woodwork like you can see in this room. And then there's these little hidden sort of Easter eggs. Um, one are all the vanities actually have these very discreet slides in them and they open up to these beautiful makeup mirrors and they light up, which is just incredible. The preservation of some of those spaces uh, and some of those key details is really an important part of what we're trying to do. Original parquet floors cover most of the home. It's not all salvageable, but uh, a lot of it's intact, and so we will work in areas that have insect damage, uh, some moisture damage, but we'll put back the flooring that was originally here. Step inside the kitchen and you'll see what might have been the first dishwasher in town. It was pretty advanced in, in how uh, the kitchen was developed. Some of the appliances and all were really kind of cutting edge in 1940 when the house was built. The original ice cube trays are still in the 1941 refrigerator and freezer. While the 10,800 square foot home sat stagnant for some time, it's in surprisingly good shape pretty shocked with how well preserved the space actually was. Usually you have to undo a lot of history when you come in, but everything that was here in 1941 is still here, which is pretty incredible. But before they tackle the inside, work has been focused on the grounds where the mansion sits on 24 acres. There are some beautiful old trees here and we've been working to get all the vines off and be able to save those trees. Clearing the tangled vines revealed a stunning riverside view. So we'll be adding some trails that will have incredible sort of scenic moments where you'll stop and be able to take a look over the river, be able to take a look to the mountains. While the estate has been inaccessible to the outside world for decades, the foundation's goal is to open up the gates and the doors and make it a place that can benefit the community. The house itself will be almost completely restored and we will have opportunities for people to be here on a day-to-day -day basis as well as for special events. In Knoxville, Leslie Ackerson, 10 News. The Aslan Foundation hopes to have work complete by 2025, but you don't have to wait until then to see the property. They offer two free tours a month for guests to experience the stages of restoration that are underway. All right, we have a link to sign up at our website, as well as a photo gallery of more parts of that home and a behind the scenes tour. It looks to be a beauty in the making.